Hello everyone. I wanted to make a quick video here on the uh, DV4 Packard's diagnostic program. Um, it's used for the MX engine platform and the after treatment system. I want to make a video today on updating the software, um, which is your engine and your after treatment system for your ECUs. Uh, I'm going to show you how to update that through the uh, DV4 program. Once the program loads up here, you will have to have internet access, um, and then it'll ask you for your username and password. You'll go ahead and enter that in, and then uh, get logged in here, and then it'll start identifying the truck and connecting from the uh, laptop to the truck. If you look down at the bottom right now, we got a couple of red X's here. Um, if you ever have that problem there, it's either the one on the left in between the laptop and like the little box here. That one right there is uh, your diagnostic link, um, which is what I'm using as a USB link too. It just means you don't have communication between them points at that point and it's just configuring right now. So we'll let it continue on. All right, so on the main screen, this is what it'll be when it first pulls up here on the Davy 4 program. Uh, what you want to click on is the identify vehicle, um, and then it'll start communicating with the vehicle itself. As you can see down here at the bottom, this one is a MX-13 engine. Right now it's going to start pulling the data from the actual truck. Here's one thing to note too. Uh, they have a quick check which will go through and check the fault codes. Um, you do not have to do that, but it's an option. And it always takes a couple minutes to run the quick check if it has quite a few fault codes. And once you're into the main, after it identifies the vehicle and you're in the main diagnostic page, you'll start seeing some of the boxes populate here. So it's going through the quick check right now. And as you can see, this one right here is like a, it's not grayed out. It's kind of collared in. And then these ones here are like grayed out. Um, once it starts populating all the information, then we'll become available to select. All right, now it's on the actual software page. It's loading the uh, PCI and the after treatment system. It is going through and checking the uh, software versions. As you can see right here as under status on both of these, we have the triangles, the caution triangles. It's letting you know that there is an update for both the ECU and the after treatment system. Um, what the next thing we will want to do is go down and hit update. Um, if Or you could hit retrieve software if you need to have the software but i already have the software saved on here but we'll go ahead and go through it again as a first start basis and we'll retrieve the software for each one all right so now both softwares are downloaded and you can see it updated the times from the beginning of the video what next we'll do is once it gets finished here, we will go ahead and hit update and it'll start programming the uh, engine first or the PCI module. And then after that, it will update the uh, after treatment if it has an update, which it does. So as you notice here, it's saying that you have chosen to update either the PCI or the EAS ECU. However, both will be updated because they both need an update. We'll go ahead and hit the next arrow now. Engine must be off. Now it says it's updating the PCI and it's going to take up to nine minutes. 
I'm going to go ahead and fast forward the video here and I'll, we'll come back as soon as we get it updated. All right, so now here it's going to go ahead and start updating the after treatment system. It says the uh, EAS3 ECU software update will start automatically. It's going to go ahead and progress through here. And then it'll go ahead and start updating it. It'll take about the same or sometimes less than what the actual um, engine ECU or the PCI took to update. But uh, I'll be back on after this gets done here too. All right, so now it's done uh, updating the uh, after treatment system and the PCI together, and it shows that everything has been programmed successfully. It'll continue on here. And it should bring us back to the uh, software update page, and then it should have a green check mark or green check box with a check mark in it for the uh, both PCI and after treatment system to let us know that both are up updated to the latest calibration for both modules. And as we can see here, we got the green check mark in the status box here for the PCI and EAS. Everything it was successfully updated and up to the current calibration as of today, March 19th. Once you make it back to the home page, you can go ahead and exit out of it. Um, everything's successfully updated. So if you guys have any comments or questions, just comment down below. And uh, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you.